We've all imagined it. If you could build your dream house from the ground up, what would that look like? A space that inspires you, calms you, and ultimately helps you live your best life? We've asked today's hottest designers to make this their mission. We want to create an area of serenity. Each design team will take a room from studs to the finishing touches. And we want to create a space that's unique, inviting, and a ton of fun. Showing you how to make every corner of your space work harder, better, and more beautifully than you ever thought it could. Make a statement. I'm Carisha Swanson from House Beautiful, and we are building the dream in Nashville. Today I'm visiting Nashville design firm, Modern Remains. They focus on achieving balance in homes, creating designs that are enriched by history, materiality, and proportion. They will be taking over the breakfast room, stair landing, and media room. Their mission is to create a breakfast room that's full of energy, make the stair landing into another spot for family conversations, and design a media room that's equal parts entertainment and relaxation. I just landed in Nashville and I'm heading over to the Modern Remains showroom to meet this design team and see what they have planned for all three spaces. Oh, thank you. Oh, welcome. Hi, Lauren. So good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so we have just entered your design building here and I'm completely overwhelmed by all the beauty that I see here. But you have three different spaces for the whole home. I think for us, when we approached the design for the three spaces in Whole Home, we really thought about a way to bridge all three spaces. And to us, it's important that we fuse the natural and the built environment. So with the breakfast room, we really envisioned it, Krisha, to be energetic and fun and full of life. So to bring um, the outdoors in, we actually took a lot of inspiration from this really great image of beautiful pair of tulips. So throughout the space, you're going to see a lot of red and pinks and shades of orange and yellow. With this particular space and its central location within the home, keeping in mind everything that's happening in, in the adjoining spaces is really critical and important. Yeah. So what we've done with this particular room is we've tried to isolate some of the color onto certain walls mm -hmm. so that it feels balanced and when you're viewing it from different spaces there are always elements of surprise. So Evan, I see here that it looks like you have two rugs because this is the one where you're pulling color from the tulips, but what's this? It's also a rug. In this space we're going to do layering of rugs. Oh. And so it's actually a really great way and it's economical to take a larger sisal or natural grass rug, Yeah. almost run it around the entire perimeter of the room and then come back in with a decorative element or a decorative rug right on top of the nat natural grass. So these are actually um, two different artists in this particular vignette. So Jennifer Gibbs is the artist who will be doing the really large overscale panels. Amazing. And then layered on top are going to be works by Whitney Stoddard. So I know we just finished the breakfast area. Where are we going here? We're going to the stair landing. Okay. And Lauren will tell you more about it. Great. The stair landing is often a forgotten space in a home. Sure. Mm -hmm. And we want people to look at a space like this as a functional room that they can sit down and enjoy and use every single day. Our jumping off point is this wallpaper just selected by Vern Yep, and he's doing he's the designer that is doing the entry downstairs. Okay. Yes. So naturally the wallpaper is going to come from the lower level, wrap the stair wall, and actually be applied all the way around this room. Okay. So for us, the color palette was fabulous. We used this to pull our fabrics and our textures. We are doing a custom screen along the back wall here, and that is to provide another, another way to introduce layer and texture. So we'll have a wall covering along the back wall and then a custom screen that's covered in a wall covering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put a piece of art on top of that. So you're kind of having three layers above a sofa. So our, our fabrics and our, our tones and textures really transition from the, the other spaces into the media room. And so we'll start to see, you know, some light colors with the yellows, and then we'll start to integrate, you know, some, some darker navies and some taupe colors. And our concept for the media room was to offer balance to the family and the room of technology. So in front of the television, we have a pair of swivel chairs and these are lightweight. They can, you know, obviously move side to side as a swivel, but they also can be moved in the room. It looks like you've got chaises happening we back do, here too. We do. So a double, so they're rear facing. And the idea back here was to kind of create a private little nook. 
it's extra seating for when the television is on, but also we have drapery on three of the walls. The drapery panels back here kind of create a little bit of more intimacy, mm -hmm. and so you're gonna be surrounded by books and art, and it's just a great place to curl up and take a nap. We're going to meet local furniture designer, Andrew McKellar, who is working on some custom pieces for the media room. Andrew is making drink tables for the media room. So this is walnut. Okay. Um, and basically there's a box joint that goes along the top like that. And then once it's assembled, it'll look something like that. So you're really talking about like an open C table. It's an open C drink table. Yeah. yeah. And there's gonna be two of them. Okay. And they'll be mirrored. Well, that's great. It seems like you're almost there in terms of completion. Yeah. For modern remains, artwork is just as important as furniture in defining a space's personality. They've commissioned a lot of original artwork from Southern artists, and we're going to visit two of them. The first is Jennifer Gibbs, who's creating artwork for The Breakfast Nook. So Jennifer Gibbs is our first artist that we're working with. Fantastic. Eh? I'm a, what they consider a mixed media abstract artist. They came to me with an idea for The Breakfast Room for these three large panels that we were going to install to make it look as though they were painted in. We have a really large set of windows in the breakfast room, and so we really wanted to help to not only balance both sides of the room with wonderful large overscale pieces of art, yeah. but also pay attention to scale. And so that's why Jennifer is creating some really wonderful three overscale pieces of art, which will help to balance the space. This is my final layers. My final coats will be in oil over Benjamin Moore colors, and they're all hand mixed. Decision time today is them choosing which strokes they want on the large panel. The first option is, is kind of an 80s look. So splatter paint, a larger scale. This is probably a 24 inch repeat. Option number two. They originally asked for a classic gray ground, background, yeah. and... You ignored them. <laughs> I, I did. I have a theory that I always throw in a wild card. Thinking about how it's going to be layered with the Whitney on top of it, mm -hmm. I mean, to me, I think that's going to be a great contrast, and it's going to really pop off that wall. Since I've, I'm listening to everything that you're saying, I'm going to create probably three more pieces. Okay. Megan Lytle is another local artist who gets inspiration from nature. We got the chance to go into the field and see the first step of her process. One of the things that I like to do is look for places around the city that have little glimpses of the natural environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the things that we have in Nashville that's wonderful is an excellent greenway system and park system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have really wonderful access to the rivers around the area. This is already pretty. So I use one of these Prashad boxes just to do it, to do quick studies. These usually serve more as kind of notes for me. There's something that sort of happens when you're painting outside. I feel like the experience of being out here and really witnessing and observing what's happening in that moment. I think something, Carisha, that we think about when we're working with artists for modern remains is really learning to appreciate the process. And we think that the process is just as important as the final piece. You, this part can usually take a little while and it's hot, so if you all need to head back, that's fine. I'll just take a couple minutes to finish up. We don't want to leave you, but thank you so much. It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> With incredibly important spaces, both upstairs and downstairs, the team divides their work to conquer these rooms. We're installing three rooms in one day. We arrived on Wednesday morning and we needed to kind of get the floors in better shape. We mopped floors, we um, really got the, the spaces in the shape they needed to be. Is it glamorous? It's not glamorous. <laughs> I would say anything but glamorous. If you like running up and down stairs 50 times in an installation, you need to be an interior designer. <laughs> <laughs> I think these panels are great. Aren't they? And I love how it really just kind of brings the outside, which has some orange and some tones of some natural tones, and yeah. kind of brings it into the breakfast area. A design process can take months, weeks and months. So for this particular process, it was much more condensed. When the process speeds up, you don't have time to think. Really, I mean, you do initially, and then it's just you roll with it. 
Here we are in the stair landing and the wallpaper has been installed, our custom screen has been installed, and the artwork has been attached to the face of the screen. So far that's my favorite piece of the house. Isn't it great? So far. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like it. And we've begun to uh, place most of our major pieces of furniture. So now that we've placed the big pieces and major pieces of furniture, we're going to begin accessorizing all of the great shelving that's right behind us. Typically in your media room, it has one function. It is the media room and it is central to the television. But in this house, we really wanted to create a dual purpose space. So this room will be a media room, but it will also be a space to read and surround yourself with beautiful things and art and books. So I think one of the things that we really like to do when accessorizing shelves is thinking about balance and scale and color. So if you have a lighter moment in one corner, we just kind of try to balance it out so that that one color or that one piece repeats itself throughout the entire display. So far, everything is actually, I think it's better than we could have ever imagined. You know, you can only, you can do so much 2D on paper and space plan, but just to see everything open up and just to come to life has been amazing so far. Krisha, we are so excited to show you the breakfast room. Oh, this is so beautiful. cheerful and yes. it's energetic. Perfect place to start your day. Yes, yeah, so this collection by Whitney Stoddard, yes. it represents iconic women of country music. So we have Dolly, we have Reba, we have Taylor Swift, and then 10 other, other women. So we created the three panels to attach to the wall, be a removable art, and then we layered additional artwork on top of that. So it kind of gives you an effect without a permanent wallpaper. Right, and yeah. you, this is not the only space you've added layers. So we have a natural grass cloth yes. in a larger size, and then we layer a wool rug on top. So it, it really is more of a budget-friendly kind of trick. So you can have a beautiful space with a beautiful rug and a smaller version and stay within a budget. So when we walk into this space, what is the feeling that you hope people have? We want it to be energetic and fun and lively and really just because it's a, a main passage. Mm -hmm. We just wanted people just to have joy mm -hmm. and just to light up when they walk through it. Your Absolutely. other space feels yes. very different. It is. Wow, you guys really did this. We did. <laughs> We are so excited about the way this space turned out. So it was so funny when you were telling me about this, I was like, okay, tell everybody what a stair landing is. <laughs> the stair landing is often a space people don't know what to do with. Right. And so we were really excited to have the opportunity to take this space and kind of show people what can be done. In this space, we created a screen, we attached it to the wall, and then we hung a piece of artwork on top of it. So it's, it's a little bit unique, Yes. but it, it adds depth and a little bit of a layering to a room. And on this wall, we decided that we were going to use a photograph right. on an easel. And so that can be moved around your house. It can go with you when you move. It could, it's very versatile. Yeah, so that's really, I mean, in both of these situations, it's another way of like adding art in interesting new ways. Absolutely. <laughs> wow, you want to talk about a completely different experience in this room. It's so warm and cozy. It's definitely darker yes. than our other two spaces. Yes. We were focused on creating a space that had a dual purpose. Okay. So when the TV is on, obviously it's a meeting room. Yes. But if we, if the TV was turned off, we could close up the drapery and you could curl up and read a book. You could meditate. We really wanted to focus on mind and body and, yeah. and just creating a great place for a family to rest. This sofa from Stressless is so comfortable and stylish. You can relax in it all day. We created a wonderful custom surround. Oh, so this is not like one piece at all. It's not, it's not, it's two pieces. Modern Remains had a massive task. They had three rooms in this home to complete. That is no small feat. One being the breakfast area that they really gave a point of view by making it bright and happy. You know, one of my favorite elements in the breakfast room is going to be the rug that we designed. 
here, the stair landing, it's often a forgotten zone. They made it into a real spot for family reconnection. You can play games here, you can read a book here, kind of just lounge at the top of the stairs right in between the two kids' rooms. So thinking about a room that already had a selection made, I think that happens a lot in design. It's just part of the natural process. We actually really enjoyed the wallpaper that was selected. This yes. particular space is so wonderful. It's better than we ever would have imagined it to be. Meteor rooms usually have the main attraction as a television. There is definitely a 77 inch television in there, but they made it a room that can really be multifunctional for the family. One of the coolest features in the media room is the gigantic fireplace that has a wet bar on one side with an undercounter Lee Bear refrigerator. There's zones for reading, for relaxing. If you wanna watch TV with the family or catch the big game, you can, but it's also a space for just hanging out. When we're working with existing architectural elements in a room, we always wanna to try to find balance. And so our way of finding balance in the media room is we mirrored the room. So on the fireplace wall, we had built-ins with a refrigerator, kind of kitchenette. On the opposite wall, we created a platform that kind of elevated and then we did the bookshelves. So for us, that creates balance in a space. And then by also adding the piece of art on the face of the bookcases, exactly. it really started to add balance. So on one side of the fireplace, you had a large TV. Mm -hmm. And then on the opposite side, we had this really great piece of art. So when you walk in, you feel very centered mm -hmm. and grounded. And I think when it comes to family spaces these days, the more places we have to reconnect, the better. And that's what they've done, given us three spaces where the family can hang out, come together, and just chill. Mm -hmm.